Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life. In this episode of Tool Time Tuesday, we're gonna use the term tool a little bit loosely if that's all right. This is a DC voltage step down regulator. And these things are dirt cheap. So the reason I'm calling this a tool is because I've got some electronics projects I'm working on and I needed to solve a problem and I didn't know how I was gonna do it. And that was to power some of these lower voltage electronics with a Milwaukee M18 battery. Could be any power tool battery, but I have lots of these batteries around and I thought it'd be really neat just to be able to pop these in and use them on these small projects. I just saw a five pack of these on Amazon for 12 bucks. Let me bring you in nice and tight and I'll show you how they work. So this is a DC voltage step down regulator and I'm not gonna pretend that I know what all these components are. I just kind of have the basic idea of how it works. On this side, we've got our positive in, negative in, and the cool things about these boards is that you can just use these terminal screws if it's not gonna be permanent, or else they've got these pads that you can solder to, and if you'd wanted, you can also solder onto the bottom. So that's the inside, and then the opposite side, we have negative out and positive out. All the magic happens somewhere in here. It's really interesting, when you first hook this up, and I'll show you this, it'll show you your input voltage. You press this button, and it will show you what the output voltage is set to, and that is adjusted by this little screw right here. So I'm just gonna use a M18 battery to show how this works, and we're just gonna hook up these little leads first. We've got the input positive. Make sure those wires aren't touching the negative side. Put the negative input in. Tighten it up. Most batteries have a denotation, positive, negative. Those are the two outside ones. So if we take our positive, slide it into here, take our negative, slide it into here. Well, this one is reading 20.2 volts. If we click this button, you also see there's a little LED. I'm not sure if you can read it right there. And then there's a little in and that little LED is illuminated, so it's showing the input voltage. Now when we press this button, that switches, and it's showing the output voltage, which I have set to five volts. And because this isn't like a memory thing, it's actually based on this little potentiometer. Once it's set, it won't go out of a different output voltage. Let me get this screw in here. I need a smaller screwdriver, seriously. Stand by. If I turn this, we can increase the voltage. And if I turn it counterclockwise, we can decrease the voltage. And it is fairly accurate. I actually took several multimeters and tested it, and it all came out within 0.1 volts. So that should be good enough for most stuff. One of the things I'd like to use this for is this LED tape. And this stuff is rated for five volts. This stuff's kind of interesting. You can actually cut it at every line right there. And those are soldering connections. And so I actually cut it and I just soldered wires to this one. And so when we go to hook this up, we wanna make sure we're getting the right side. So this one here is the positive. And ideally you would use different color wire for positive and negative, but I didn't do that. So that's our positive out. And we'll hook up our negative out. I think it's kind of important that before you actually hook it up to whatever component you want to power with stepped down of voltage, definitely set your voltage first. But now if you plug this in, boom, we've got five volt output going to our little string lights. 20.1 volts coming in, 5.1 going out. And we can just turn this down. We'll actually decrease the brightness of our lights. Obviously, if we cranked it right up, we could probably fry our lights, but I'm not gonna do that. But look at that, that's amazing to me. Like this thing solves problems. Now these do come in all kinds of different variations. So if you're gonna be picking these up, just make sure you check the specs on what input voltage it can handle and then the range of the output voltage and make sure that will match with your project. Other thing you can do is head on to the different 3D printing websites and they'll print cases, enclosures for these. Unfortunately, I have yet to find one that fits this. I've printed four. 
and none of them work with this particular one. So I'm not putting a part number. I'll put a link down in the description below just so you can click that and just see what these are all about. Again, dirt cheap and for little projects like this is for like a framed uh, picture I'm doing and to be able to set this and even turn down the lights if it's too bright and then just leave it and I can just plug it into a battery. Obviously you want switches, maybe fuses and stuff like that, but I think this little thing, I call this a tool because it solves a specific task. I had a specific thing that I wanted done. Yeah, it's more of a component, but I think these are just cool. I'd like to give a shout out to the YouTube channel Flatlander Tech. He's doing some really cool stuff and he was the first guy that I saw use these. I never even knew something like this existed and especially at this price point. So I'm really excited to get this into some of these projects. Might see some of these coming up in the channel, it might not. I don't know for sure if I'll do videos on them, but I just thought I'd share this because this might be something that would be useful for you. You know, you could make different work lights, different, all kinds of stuff. Your imagination is the only thing that's limiting you. So there we have it, step down, transformer, cool, cheap little product. Hopefully they don't explode. I'm not sure if they're gonna last the test of time, but kind of fun to play with. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching, cheers.